Well, joining us now on a CNBC, first on CNBC interview, we welcome Representative Bob Goodblatt. He, the Republican of Virginia who chairs the House Judiciary Committee. Representative Goodblatt has called on the president to rescind his plan to take in these Syrian refugees. And you did that, sir, even before the Paris attacks. So uh, do you differ with House Speaker Ryan, who's calling for a moratorium, or, or do you want to make this permanent? You, you never want to receive uh, refugees. What, what, what's your plan here? No, I agree with the speaker. Our concern arose uh, when we had a consultation with the Secretary of State, John Kerry, uh, in which he announced they were going to increase the number of refugees coming into the country, and then a few days later announced we're going to increase it 10,000 more, uh, and those would be Syrian refugees. The president this is the only immigration program where the president gets to set the cap, not the Congress. So I think that should be changed. However, the issue with Syria relates to the security. Shortly after that, we had the FBI director, Comey testified before the committee, and I asked him about uh, their ability to vet uh, Syrian refugees, and he was very clear that they did not have the resources or the information that could assure uh, that these were not uh, terrorists coming into this country. We've had terrorists come into the country under the Iraqi refugee program. The French have said that the refugee issue in Europe is playing a part into this. ISIS has said they're going to use our immigration programs to get people into this country. It seems common sense to me to take a pause and say we're not going to bring refugees into this country from an area where we know okay. that there's a serious threat. But does that then rule out pretty much all the Middle East and North Africa? It rules out Syria and Iraq initially. I think that's the important thing to do in response to this immediate threat and we'll do something about that this week but we have a larger refugee uh, um, re uh, reform bill that we're working through the Judiciary Committee right now you can expect to see that uh, sometime right after Thanksgiving and that would address many broader concerns about how the refugee program works right well, now but in the spirit of Kelly's question, you know, the critics of, of those who are calling for a moratorium or just not allowing any of the Syrian refugees in here is that it sets a precedent uh, for a nation that accepts refugees from all over the world at all times. So are we going to set a precedent uh, of not allowing any refugees into this country uh, just uh, because we're worried about uh, one particular group coming into our, our borders? No, I think the situation in Syria uh, and in parts of Iraq is much worse than anywhere else in the world because we don't have, and the FBI director confirmed, they don't have the ability to go to Syria and get records. They don't have the ability to go to Syria and interview neighbors and acquaintances of people uh, to find out whether or not they have a clean background. I and that's sir. different than most other places, including I, Libya and other North African places. But as you well know, we have immigrants coming into this country all the time. Uh, you know, a, a, a terrorist could come in at any moment uh, without us knowing about it, simply because they, they had the right paperwork. So they, how, do you, how do you stop? I, I understand the spirit of what you're trying to do with the Syrian refugees, but how do you stop the flow over, uh, overall otherwise? Well, we are a nation of immigrants but we're also a nation of laws, so we need to make sure that those immigration laws are working as effectively as possible. And when you have a situation like you have in Syria, we should put a moratorium on bringing refugees in from that country. That, not permanently, but until the FBI director, until the Secretary of Homeland Security can certify that the people coming in here are not going to be terrorist threats. That's are exactly you, where we should go. Before we let you go, uh, Congressman, is all of this a piece of what you would advocate for an even tougher uh, standard for letting people into this country than we currently have? Well, I do believe that our immigration laws across the board are not being enforced effectively by this administration. We have a series of bills that have already been reported out of the Judiciary Committee dealing with interior enforcement. The Homeland Security Committee has a bill dealing with uh, border security. Those bills should be brought to the floor and voted on uh, as soon as possible. But in the meantime, addressing this particular problem as identified by the FBI director and acknowledged by others as being a problem with getting adequate data, we should okay. not bring Syrian refugees into the country. We already provide a tremendous amount of resources for the refugee camps in Jordan, in Turkey, far more than any other country, by the way. We also bring in refugees from elsewhere in the world far more than any other nation. Two-thirds of all the U.N. refugees 
come into the United States. So we have nothing to apologize for here on our refugee policy, but we also have to address the security of U.S. citizens, particularly seeing what's happening in Europe right now. Got to go. Thank you so much. Uh, good to Thank see you, Representative Goodlatte. I grew up in his district, so.